They say lightning never strikes the same place twice, but that rule does not apply to hurricanes. They do what they want. And sometimes they'll pick a spot and they'll pound it again and again and again, like Louisiana in 2020 and 2021. Four hurricanes in just over a year, starting with the mighty Laura. And three years later, this smashed high rise towers over Lake Charles, a grim monument to the wrath of Laura and the year that Louisiana couldn't catch a break. Hurricane Laura came howling into Louisiana late at night on August 26, 2020. After making landfall with estimated winds of 150 miles an hour, this mighty Category 4 storm took direct aim at Lake Charles. Captain Armand Gilmore and Specialist Jeremy Stevens of the Louisiana Army National Guard remember the night well, too well. They were in the armory when all hell broke loose. There was debris everywhere and you you hear the wind, it sounds like a freight train coming through. You smell the, the smell of pine because of all the trees that are breaking. You could clearly hear it over all the wind and everything. And so I peeked my head out and you just see darkness and then you would see like lightning and then I was like, oh, there's no wall there. And I just remember it being extremely thunderous. Um, so loud that for a moment, almost forgot that there was a storm outside because you were so focused on the deafening sound of the wall coming in. I can remember a lot of soldiers calling their parents, saying, hey, the building's collapsing. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Meanwhile, neighboring Sulphur was faring no better, and that's where I was. Roaring winds devastated homes and businesses with spectacular electrical explosions lighting up the sky all night. Years later, the sheer power of those winds is fresh in my mind. Mayor Mike Danahay rode out the storm in the reinforced city hall. You had projectiles and uh, materials and flying objects that were going through uh, the area. And uh, certainly it was a, a, a situation you would not want to go out into. After that fearsome night, his city awoke to a new reality. We were able to step out immediately at dawn and see what had taken place. Uh, and it was astounding what kind of damage a storm of that nature can do. Um, we had telephone poles down, we had uh, structures destroyed, a lot of uh, trees down on, on buildings and, and homes. And so, uh, and the roadways were almost impassable. Parts of downtown Lake Charles have been beautifully refurbished. You walk around, you see painting and construction happening everywhere, and the neighborhood has kind of like a hip sparkle to it. And parts of the city have built back better than ever with beautiful new affordable housing going up. Other blocks are frozen in the past, time capsules from the day after the storm. Sulfur too still bears scars. We're not fully recovered by any stretch of the imagination. And we will continue to uh, work with whomever and our citizens and, and our business owners to be able to bring sulfur back to the prominence that it was before. But believe it or not, it could have been worse. What I experienced that night is something I wouldn't work, want my worst enemy to experience, and that's something you'll never forget if you have to experience that, so. And that was just the start of Louisiana's incredible run of hurricanes. A little more than a month later, Hurricane Delta attacked almost the exact same place. While not as strong as Laura, it was salt in the wound for a hurting region. Just three weeks after that, Hurricane Zeta raced into New Orleans, bringing mayhem to the other side of the state. And then, almost exactly a year after Laura, another monster Category 4 assaulted the state. This one, named Ida, pounded the bayou cities of southeast Louisiana with devastating storm surges and 150 mile an hour winds, causing billions of dollars in damage. Hurricane Laura's assault on Lake Charles and Sulphur was the start of a one-year Louisiana hurricane swarm. And I'm sure folks in this state felt cursed, but it's not that unusual for hurricanes to come in swarms like this. The bottom line and the lesson learned, you're never overdue for a hurricane, but you're also never done with them. Always be ready. This is Josh Morgerman, Weather Nation TV in Lake Charles, Louisiana.